Sign 3D flickies fucking Ireland fucking rubbish game. Well, it's not rubbish, I just it's just not my favourite Sonic game. Yeah, even the Sega intro is not good. This was made by Traveller's Tales. I mean, they were probably where the fucking Sonic games start to go downhill because they also did. Um, I mean, look at how drab the fucking start screen is. Um, Traveller's Tales, or, or Traveller's Tale, what was it? Tales? Traveller's Tale, I think. Also did um, Sonic R, and that is a. Well, it's not that bad a game, but you kind of got to know how to play it. Uh, it's pretty difficult. Um, this game doesn't look bad, to be honest. Um, I'm just not the biggest fan of it. Um, I'll probably end up picking up the Saturn version of this game at some point. So I, at least I can kind of compare this emulated kind of Mega Drive version to the, uh, the Saturn version if, when I do eventually get it. So obviously I've got um, you know, like a third of the uh, Saturn game you know, full collection so I might as well um, pick it up and try and go for the full collection and I probably never will, I'll probably run out of money before then. I'm up to now. Interesting that it kind of keeps your position on the menu as well. That's kind of nice. So you can just flick through easily like this and just play each game one at a time. I don't remember much about this game. I've played it before. And yeah, you basically run into the pinball table, don't you? And there's it, spikes at the bottom. This isn't the smoothest uh, Sonic game or Mega Drive game at, at, at all. Um, not sure whether that's to do with the, the emulation and it's poorly emulated or um, the game was originally like that. But I think that maybe when you're going to emulate, you know, games like this on the PS2. I mean, I think you've got you've got room for improving the game, um, you know, just kind of removing the limitations of the hardware at the time. You know, you've got a blank canvas, improve on almost perfection, but not in the case of this one. Yeah, pretty uh, pretty poor pinball game. I've played it before and uh, I don't like it. It's not a classic Sonic game for me. Um, mean Bean Machine. I won't play this for long. It's just basically kind of Tetris type clone puzzle game. Kind of just a bit of a cash in, really. Um, yeah, there's doesn't need to be Doctor Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. And when you look, yeah, it's just yeah, you get the idea. Um, kind of reminds me of Baku Baku for the sign. Um. So we've got the Game Gear version of um, Sonic and as you can see here the screen is uh, kind of being closed a bit, there's a board around the end, around the edge. Um, so yeah this probably would have been a decent um, game for the Game Gear. You can tell that the physics are kind of a bit off um, in this Game Gear version. But one thing you can um, tell is, if you listen to the music, that it does run. I, I would probably rather play this version of um, 
Sonic over the, the PAL version that's emulated on this disc because this runs music at a decent speed, you know, the intended speed, and also um, there's a great sensation of speed in this version as well, even if uh, the game's a bit more stripped back. So yeah, that's basically uh, pretty slick. Um, Sonic Labyrinth. Um, don't know much about this. I've never, I've never really played any of these Game Gear games before. I played a couple of them the other day. I played Sonic Chaos, which I thought was a pretty decent, uh, decent Game Gear game. I don't know what this is all about, so we'll see and see. Um, so it's kind of... I'm guessing this is... Probably came out around the time that um, Sonic 3D came out and wanted a kind of isometric game for the Game Gear. I mean, the, the Sonic... 3D idea would be more stomachable, um, you know, on a, a handheld system, well, in my opinion, anyway. Um, I don't know where you're aiming to get to. I assume there's a door somewhere to open. Was it that bit down there? That saw something down there. What's that? Is that the end? Yeah, it's kind of annoying. It's kind of like, I guess, like Super Monkey Ball meets um, Sonic 3D. Ah, oh, so you jump over there. Uh, it looks like you've basically got to collect three keys and then the goal will open. So, um, interesting Sonic title. Um, Nothing too amazing. And go for the next one. Sonic Drift. Oh, this is a terrible game. This is rubbish. Yeah, um, from what I've played of this game before, um, the the corners just come at you and you've got no chance to react. You've got to really memorise the tracks and it's got horrible collision detection. Well, not, not really horrible collision detection, just horrible collisions in general. You see there, <laughs> the game runs you know, fairly quick and the bloody track just, you know, the corners come up on you way too quick. And then when you get close to the uh, your opponents, the like fucking rock solid to get past. Because every time you touch them, it sends you flying. And then we've got past one there, and then we hit a tree. So yeah, um, you know, people might kind of say, you know, this is like Mario Kart with Sonic. It just isn't. <laughs> um, I don't know whether it'd have been impressive at the time as a as a Game Gear title, but for me it's just gash. This was a game of uh, Sonic Chaos that I was pretty impressed with um, that I played the other day. Now we'll jump in. It's kind of a hidden gem if you ask me because. Um, he plays Tails as well, I can't stand Tails, I just find him irritating. Um, yeah, for me, it's kind of a hidden gem because it does feel like a Sonic game in its own right, you know, it's not a, a version of a Mega Drive game, it's, uh, well, not that I know of anyway. Um, 
it's its own game, um, it's got its own thing going on, um, you know, runs pretty well. Not the uh, these Game Gear Sonic games aren't the smoothest, but uh, there is a bit of slowdown and that. You know, again, some of that could have uh, improved for this collection with the uh, unprecedented power of the PS2. Um, it's got a spin dash on this game. It has. Yep, pretty cool. So yeah, for me, um, Sonic Chaos, if you're a Sonic fan and you've never played it, you definitely need to play it. For me, I, I think it's a pretty decent game. Um, one thing with it is, you could say that it's on the easy side. Sonic Blast, not sure what this is. Can't remember it, vaguely. Is this something to do with Sonic 3D? So it look, Sonic looks like he does in Sonic 3D, but it's a what? It's a side-scrolling game. Pretty decent graphics for a Game Gear game, to be honest. Almost. Wow, that's pretty amazing. Um, The backgrounds kind of look stripped down though. This is kind of a strange graphical style, almost. Um, don't know. Inorganic, um, synthetic feel to the game, and the collision detection obviously isn't very great because. I'm um, clearly touching that ring, but I have to get it bang on. Oh, what? Them bloody trees are pretty annoying. Um, there doesn't seem to be a great. Um, yeah, the collision detection is fucking rubbish. There doesn't seem to be a great amount of complexity to the levels or the backgrounds. Um, well, yeah, I think the, the graphics are kind of cool in a way. It's just weird. I've never seen a Sonic game before like this. And I, and I didn't know that, you know, the Game Gear would have been able to pull off graphics that look like this. Pseudo 3D. Yeah, I think this, this has been, definitely been uh, released around the time of Sonic 3D. I think um, Sonic 3D was called Sonic 3D Blast in... I don't know whether it was the Saturn version that was called that or it was called that in certain regions. Yeah, pretty uh, pretty weird game that. Definitely worth checking out if you're a Sonic fan but it doesn't... it seems like a shit Sonic game. Um, mean beam machine. There's not really much point uh, putting this on, but we'll we'll just play a bit just to uh, complete the video. And a new game. So it looks like it's got. Uh, oh, I was going to say a different game setup, but it's just kicked us into exactly the same thing. So yeah, uh, basically pretty much the same as the uh, Mega Drive version. As I was saying before the uh, the camera cut out, um, yeah, Sonic Mega Collection Plus, um, you know, if you're a big Sonic fan or a big Sega fan, then it's definitely worth checking out and uh, it's super cheap, it's only a couple of quid, so, um, you know, definitely pick it up. I'm um, quite liking these uh, Sega PS2 releases, collections, um, rehashes of old games and all that stuff, it's all good, so, that is it, thumbs up bitches.